Hi, welcome back to my channel. I am here to do a puzzle haul video for you and it is my last December jigsaw puzzle haul and also my last 2022 puzzle haul. Now, I want to be fair and make a quick statement. I don't want this video to come off as triggering or as boastful to anybody that may think that I spend too much money on my hobbies. Now there's a situation that has completely resolved itself and I'm not trying to allude to that in any negative way because what I would like to do is use this video as a way to inspire lovers of jigsaw puzzles or lovers of the hobby when they were younger or people who like the prettiness in some of these puzzles and may want to think about doing them themselves. Now I'm going to tell you something. I don't know exactly where it is. I wish I knew where it was. But I have a puzzle here that I did recently. I'm not going to be able to find it because I didn't think about it in advance. And the puzzle that I did recently was so beautiful that my friend wanted to puzzle. But she hasn't started puzzling yet. And that very same puzzle came up on Diamond Art Club and she bought it as a diamond painting. So you may see something in this video that will inspire you to either want to do a puzzle as a puzzle, do it as a diamond painting, or for that matter, do it as a cross stitch pattern. Whatever the case may be, I hope that it inspires you to check out this video and see all these videos. Now, with that being said, I'm going to get started with Ravensburger, but before I show you the new Ravensburger puzzles I bought, I want to show you the two that I had in my stash. Now, these are from the Awesome Alphabet series, and the first one that I've had for about two years, and I finally got to it, is Awesome Alphabet A. Okay, so that is the first one that I got, and then... I went to eBay and I found this marked down to a reasonable price of about 20 bucks. So I bought E. Okay. Now these are by Colin Thompson. And Colin Thompson has gone up to the letter J. So I kept watching eBay and I was never really satisfied with eBay's prices. So I found them on Amazon. If he goes up past J, you know, KLM up to Z, I will get them as they come out. So, in order of the alphabet, the next one I got, and not in any particular order as to how I got them, just in order of the alphabet, and this is B. So, if you if you see any of my Colin Thompson collage puzzles like this, which I adore, that's what the awesome alphabet puzzles are like. And I'm going to try to avoid the glare. Okay, because it's getting dark. So here is the letter B. Then the next one is a, a combination of C and D. Some of these are combos, not all of them. Okay. And then, like I said, I already had E, which I got on eBay. Then, let's see. Just want to put them in order. Then the next ones are F and G. I hate that you guys have to deal with the glare, but I can't help it. But there's F and G. Cannot wait to do these. And then there's H. Look at that one. Am I showing this to you upside down? Let's try this again. Then here's H. When I looked at it through the camera, I realized it was upside down. That one's intriguing. That's H. And then the last two are, I think, I and J. Just want to make sure. Yep, yeah, I and J. And this is as far as he's gone. Now, I hear that he's in ill health, so I don't know if any more will be produced, but I certainly hope so. But I do wish his health to improve if God wills. So I, I, you know, but this is as far as Colin Thompson goes. So we're going to get these out of the way because there's a lot of puzzles to show you. Okay, I stopped the video because I wanted to pull out these puzzles here. This one is called The Happiest Kid in the World, which I got in November and I did early December. Okay. When I got that, I also got staying up all night. What I did not know 
is that one of these is supposed to be the 80s and one is supposed this is the 90s staying up all night and this is the 80s no this is the 2000s or something i don't know they're generational so i'll show you these and then i'll show you my next thought so i found out that there's also 60s and 70s so you have 60s 70s 80s and 90s or something i'm to totally confused so looking at the back of the boxes okay they don't tell you but anyway there's generational books uh bo puzzles and these uh these are machezo did i say that no i don't think i did these are machezo puzzles okay pinball invasion and donna video games The two I've already showed you, Staying Up All Night, and The Happiest Kid in the World, which I've already done, okay? I'm going to learn how to do haul videos one day. So, because I fell in love with this brand, Machezo, I found this, which I showed in a previous haul, which is Gradient Moon. And I'm doing a series of gradient puzzles. I, I have some here one down there lots of them and i just keep buying them because i will solve them all yes i will do the puzzles that i buy so in so doing i discovered that he has this uh, machezo the company that i just showed you all of those puzzles also had this one country store at night so i had to get that one okay my last Machezo puzzle that I'd love to show you is this one, Iron Horse number nine. Now I'm showing you this last for a reason. I think there's five of us that are going to do this puzzle as a group. We will start this around the 2nd or 3rd of January. We will have a small chat and we will share our progress on the small chat. And then once all of us complete it, we'll share it publicly. So this is Iron Horse number nine, a Machezo puzzle. So I have been doing White Mountain, Buffalo, and Ravensburger puzzles for years. Don't mind the empty shelves. It's these puzzles that I'm showing you right now. And so now I have found Machezo. So right now I have seven Machezo puzzles. I have completed one, and I'll be doing this one sometime next week. Okay? I'm going to repeat myself. Yes, I will be solving these puzzles. Now, oh. then I got two 1500 puzzles, but I can only show you this one right now because it's at the bottom of the pile. And this one here is called Beach Cabin. And I got this puzzle because I want the Karen Puzzles 3000 piece puzzle, but I need to learn to go up in size. And I'm currently only doing 1000 piece puzzles and the 750 piece puzzles. I'll show you which ones of those that I'm doing in a few minutes. So this is Beach Cabin. I don't know who the artist is and we will just take a gander to see if it's on the box or not. Julia Green. So I got this so that I can teach myself the patience of doing a 1500 piece puzzle and though you cannot see it I do have a couple more 1500 piece puzzles up there as well as two 2000 piece puzzles that I'll do one day then we're going to look at some buffalo puzzles I think I have six of them and I want to sort them out real quick okay now remember I said that I do some 750 piece puzzles? That that would be these. The either the cats of Charles Wysocki or just cats. And each puzzle has a name, like this is quarantine cats. I just finished this one this morning and it's been posted all over my social media the way that I do. So I just finished this one. I think there's 14 cats in this one. Then this one. Just like the Machezo brand was forced on to me by a new group of friends that are jigsaw puzzlers, one of the people in that group that are doing the Machezo puzzles with me told me about this one, All Things Nice, and I just had to get it. Isn't that gorgeous? It's one of the cat's puzzles. You're going to see more cat's puzzles in this haul. 
Okay. Then I got a couple of night and day puzzles. And I'm kind of thinking that I may have already had this Knights of Venice. And I think I pulled it off by mistake. But in case I haven't shown it, it's Knights of Venice. And it's uh, two, two scenes, night and day. Okay. Same scene, but during the day and during the evening. And then this one is called called um, Mountain Retreat. And I did this one a week ago, about a week ago. And it's called Mountain Retreat. And when you see my uh, finished puzzles for December, you'll see the full puzzles as I've done them. This was a lot of fun. And you know, you have half of it in the daytime and the other half in the evening. So you have some shadows and like even the roof changes color because of the shadows and so forth. So this was a lot of fun. It had two bears, one here and then there's one somewhere over here somewhere. So that was fun. Then another puzzle, well, let me show you my other two buffalo puzzles. This one I got because I want to see if I can do something that I see Karen Puzzles doing a lot. This is called Photo Arc. It's a, by Joel Centauri. It's a buffalo puzzle and it is 16 individual scenes. I don't know if I'm going to be able to do like Karen Puzzles and separate these scenes and do these as individual puzzles. I, I have an idea that I want to do. But considering that you have reds and reds and reds and yellows. And yellows and yellows and yellows and yellow <laughs> I may not be able to do what I have in mind but I would love to my last Buffalo puzzle for this haul this haul's going red oh I said the haul's going quickly but then I remember I didn't pull some puzzles down yet this is called cartoon world uh, Sam's garage I think there's four of these puzzles and I did this puzzle about a week ago I loved it. It was so hard. It was so hard because if you see all of this on the in the garage, can you see all of that? And you see the engine, which in Volkswagen Beetles is always in the back. And then you have all, oh, goodness gracious, this puzzle was challenging, but I loved it. Loved it, loved it, loved it. So this is a song. So out of this, these batches, I think I've done four or five of these that I've shown you so far. In fact, another one that I have done, which is a new puzzle, is uh, Cities by David McLean. I'm not quite sure what city this is. It might, I'm not even going to guess. But I did this one. It's a Seiko puzzle. One of my least favorite brands ever. But this was on sale on Black Friday for $6.99. So I did this one. This may have shown up in a November video, but I'm not really sure. So in case it didn't. I did do this puzzle. I loved it because of the different houses or cottages. I didn't love it because of the looseness of the pieces. But for beautiful, you know, for beauty's sake, it's a gorgeous puzzle. And I'm so glad that I did it. Then, remember I said I got some people who just keep enabling me? Well, one of them named Ryan showed me this one. Look at this Anatolian jigsaw puzzle. Now, does this one have a name? It's called Delightful Woman. Look at that puzzle. I just had to get it. In fact, I didn't get it that night, that Thursday night we were online. I just stuck it in my cart, but by the time I woke up that Friday morning, I had to get it. But can I show you something else? Can you see it right here? This is in my stash from my sister. This is a no-name brand, so I don't know how it's going to be, but isn't this beautiful? So now I've got two African women to do. I don't. This is called uh, African Woman Oil Painting, and this is called Delightful Women. This is called Delightful Woman, but, you know, I consider her to be an African queen. I love it. Um, a couple other Anatolian puzzles that I get to show you. This one here is another 1,000 piece puzzle, and look at this one. Let's get the name of this really quickly. This is called Kittens in the Kitchen. Look at that. Can you tell I love cats? Can you tell I love cats? Because you just saw Quarantine Cats, and you saw the other one, and now you're seeing this one. And you might see one more by the time I get to the end of this pile. So Kittens in the Kitchen by Anatolian. Love that brand. Then this one was a gift. This is another 1500 piece puzzle, which I cannot wait to do. This one here is called Stargazer. 
of the universe, the galaxies. And this was a gift and it's a 1500 piece puzzle. Now I joined a winter exchange. It might even be called Christmas exchange. I'm not really sure. But when I joined this, I was really wondering if the gifter was going to be able to find a puzzle that I had not collected or completed and they did and they got a 1500 piece one. Now, I am a Christian woman who does not believe in astrology, so I was concerned about this, but this is truly just galaxies. It has nothing to do with astrology. It has to do with astronomy. And I am eager, eager, eager to do this puzzle. I cannot wait to do this. Okay. I want to look at something. Uh, I wish this was an in inches. Okay. This is a 1,000 piece puzzle in a huge box. It's even bigger than the Ravensburger boxes, but look at it. It's a gradient puzzle, but it's gradient blocks. So let's see what the name of it is. I might have been, I hope I didn't show it to you upside down. It's just called Gradient, but somebody recommended this. I think it was one of the ladies on that puzzle group, the Puzzle Pandemonium group or the Puzzle Family group. I think this was a recommendation, so I had to get it. I, I love gradient puzzles. I can't wait, cannot wait to do it. Then, because I love collage puzzles and because I love Shelly Davies, who does all of those Colin Thompson color puzzles that I'm doing, red, orange, green, purple, blue, whatever, plus black and white, plus the four elements. Well, her name is Shelly Davies. And I discovered that she did another collage puzzle from a company called Schmidt. And of course I had to get it. I think this was an eBay purchase. If I can save money by shopping on eBay, I do. So I do look carefully before I spend. So this is an artist puzzle. In fact, it it is called... Hmm. Oh, I didn't know Schmidt was based in Berlin. This is called, it's in a million languages, Vintage Artist Materials. English is like the fifth one down, so I had to I had to find the, the English translation, but Shelly Davies. My last puzzle before I pause this video and start it over again is another kitten puzzle. This one is called, and I've got to find a cat mania. And look at this one. Look at this Schmidt puzzle. Schmidt is a gorgeous, gorgeous, gorgeous puzzle brand to work with. Gorgeous, gorgeous, gorgeous puzzle brand to work with. So I think in this haul, I've shown you four cat video, cat puzzles. I do plan on checking my spreadsheet to find out how many cat puzzles. I'd say I have at least 20 by now. So I'm going to shut the camera off and grab another bunch of puzzles and come right back. Okay, I saved this last batch of puzzles for the end of this video in case you want to shut it off from here because what you're going to see here are my ebo puzzle collection now when i showed my ebo puzzles i think i showed a good dozen or so but now i have 15 and i i'm hoping i can remember the ones that i bought since i made that video so you're going to see some repeat puzzles but it's going to be well worth it because i'm in love with this brand so we're just going to get started. This is family dinner night. Now, I want to tell you a little about the Ibu puzzles. There's uh, just three things I want to tell you. Number one is the pieces are different than, say, Ravensburger or Schmidt or Anatolian. They, they kind of, those puzzles kind of give you kind of like a linen type feeling. These are a plasticky type thin piece, but a very, very, very sturdy puzzle. In fact, uh, the ones I've done two so far, and I'll show you which two I've done, hold up well to a pickup test for the most part. So this is called Family Dinner Night. And if I remember that I've already shown you this in my ebook collection video, which I'm going to throw a card up right now. But it, um, I forgot what I was going to say. But this is Family Dinner Night. Now, this one here, I got secondhand. Like I said, I'm always going to shop around on eBay, puzzle groups, and other secondhand sources. So this was a secondhand puzzle. This is called Seagull Garden. I'm pretty sure I showed you this in the My Ebu for the Win video. Loved it. Love this. Can't wait to do it. 
this is Copenhagen. So this is one that I showed in that video. And what I also showed in that video is these puzzles remind me of Eerie, uh, the romantic country books by this Japanese artist. Her name is Eerie, E-R-I-Y. So this is Copenhagen. This is Berlin Life. I can't wait to do this one. My puzzle pile wants to topple over, so I have to be gentle. Berlin Life. This is English Cottage. I almost did this one a couple of days ago, but I'm, I'm going to get to it soon. This is called English Cottage. Then we have this one, which is definitely going to wait until summertime. This is Beach Umbrella. Okay. As I'm doing this, I realize that there's a puzzle in here that I bought that I didn't show you, and I don't remember where it is, but we won't worry about that. This is Makaresh, Moroccan puzzle. Keep meaning to show this to my friend Katrina because her husband's from Morocco. Makaresh. And then this one here is Swedish Fishing Village, which I think is a new one since my other video. So I don't think I've shown you this, but now you get to see it. These puzzles, I cannot even convey to you the joy I have at the at, at having these puzzles. I, I just can't tell you. I As I'm making this video, in fact, I just got a notification that two secondhand puzzles that I just bought late last night, like at one in the morning, were just shipped. I just saw the tracking number across my screen. So secondhand, eBay, puzzle groups, recommendations, Amazon, you name it. This one here is a new one, New York Life. Just got this a couple days ago. Look at that. You got your taxi, which is, you know, if you live in New York City, most people do not have cars. You get around by taxi or, you know, a ride share. And then you just have all the things in the background, including the Statue of Liberty right there in the middle. This one here is Venice Open Market, which I'm not sure if this is one of my new ones. I almost dropped it. Venice Open Market. Because like I said, three, at least three of these are new. Venice open market but even if they're not brand new they've only been purchased in December very very new this is London life I did this one a few days maybe two weeks ago I did this one already London life I feel like I've done another evil puzzle but we'll find out in a minute oh yeah I did this one is urban gardening I think this is another of the newer ones that I got and I, the reason I got so many evil puzzles is for Black Friday and, and uh, Cyber Monday, they were knocked down to 50%, so they were only $10 a puzzle. And then a couple days, maybe like a week ago, several puzzles were marked down to $13, so I was able to get three or four more. This is one of the new ones. No, I don't know if this is one of the newer ones. But anyway, Hike in the Woods. Oh, I never told you the things I wanted to tell you about these puzzles. Half of them are square, the other half a triangle. That's fact number one. Fact number two is that every puzzle has a poem on the back. Fact number three is it's all recycled materials. And fact number four, it's a woman-owned company. I knew I wanted to tell you something about these puzzles. This one here, Paris in a Day. This is one of the ones I got on Cyber Monday. I love anything Paris, anything French, anything France. And then this one here is the other one that I just did maybe five or six days ago. This is called Kitchen Chickens. Love this one. Reminded me so much of an eerie coloring page. I had to do this one right away. So, I don't know how many puzzles that is. But that is the last of the 2022 puzzles. I do have a few coming that I have, as mentioned, bought secondhand. And um, I guess that's it. I will be back with more in maybe a month or so. I'm, no rush because I'm going to try to put myself on a puzzle freeze, a puzzle buying freeze. 
Hopefully I will, but we'll see. But I want to thank you for your time, and I want to thank you for watching. Bye-bye.